broken. You guys just barely escaped. A hurricane. Sea serpent. You know, Poseidon might have showed up. Who knows? Sounds like fun. We're like 13, you probably <laughs> killed him. Well, it's, it's surprisingly likable, fella. Good drinking partner. Uh, as you approach your final destination, uh, the remnants of the hurricane that you guys passed through is still hitting the decks. Rain, wind, occasional thunder. Once in a while, a ray will reach up and sweep across the deck. Uh, the crew by that now is exhausted. They just want to drop you off and then go home. Uh, in fact, the, the captain has already told you guys to fuck off. And has threatened to turn around several times. So it's our normal convenience then, eh? You'd think someone would just tell him that it's twice as long to get back now. I'm green with seasickness. Head over the bow. Poor guy. Grendel's just playing the green. Listen here. <laughs> um, you know, whatever you guys do midday, except the fact that you know there's a hurricane going along. And you hear the watch bell as watch changes. Uh, it's not long after that you feel the ship suddenly shift to the left. And there's a bunch of calling on the deck. Followed swiftly by cannon fire. Oh, that's fun. Uh, can we see what it is, or do we have to go over there? Wait, I hear it. Alright, let's go check it out. As you rush to the deck to figure out what is going on, um, I will need all of you guys to make a perception check. As you know, it is a hurricane. All little detail? Oops, forgot to put that in. I think uh, Mike forgot to do his skills. I did. How'd you tell? <laughs> the plus one to your perception. Grendel! Your sharp and very well practiced eyes easily spot the enemy ship off the uh, right side as it's firing onto the ship. However, the cannonballs aren't quite reaching, but even you can tell that they're not cannonballs. That it's this weird green glow. And as you look closer... It's the Flying the Dutchman! <laughs> the ship itself isn't all together there. Interesting. Uh, it's definitely should not be on the surface anymore. You hear the captain call out. All hands! All hands! Invasive maneuvers! I'm not a hand, right? Shouldn't be. That just thing just ain't right. I can't find no ghost ship. I don't think we're going to have much of a choice. Some puts his hands against the uh, the edges of the ship and crouches down evasively. Uh, the captain definitely uses the wheel and avoids all the shots from the ruined ship that's now following you guys, but it seems to be gaining. Uh, as if it's not affected by the waves or the wind at all. So, just logistically speaking, how close behind us is this thing? Um... 
It's firing cannon. It's in your bow shot range. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say that, but I've got the horn bow, so I only have an 80 foot increment. Was that all? Yeah. Is it within 80 feet? Because I can start picking some motherfuckers off. I'm going to say you're looking at 100 feet, but quickly coming in. Okay. Um, I'll... Only a negative two. <sighs> can, I see... can I see people on the deck? Uh, you can see people on the deck. Okay, cool. Uh, do they look ghostly as well? Uh, they do. Do you want to give me a religion check? I sure don't. Okay. I mean, I would like to, but I can't unless it's a DC gun. <laughs> and are they obviously skeletal? Uh, yes, they are obviously skeletal. Uh, I don't think they're living, boys. Whatever they are. Uh, alright. I'm um. really reluctant to give up these blunt arrows, though. Because I'm not going to get him back if I shoot him at a ghost ship. Well, maybe the deck hands have something. They wouldn't be on this big old ship without some kind of supplies or weaponry. Maybe you can use theirs. Just the same, I can't shoot ballista bullets, so. Uh, do they have arrows lying around? Um, as he says that, you do notice that the crew is preparing the ship. Uh, to either be boarded or to fire upon the enemy should they get close enough um, they are using their own cannons and preparing a uh, very large ca um, not catapult ballista, ballista on the yeah. back of the ship okay um, do they have like quivers of arrows floating around just on the deck someplace uh, if you were to ask, they would be able to hand you some quivers. Sweet. I'll take one of those and however many arrows are in it, and then I'll plant my ass right next to safe and start uh, plugging away at the incoming skeleton ghost ship pirate guys. Okay. Uh, what's everyone else doing? Are there any, if there's quivers around, are there any spare bows laying around? Uh, yeah, they'd be able to hand you a bow. Yeah, I'll grab one of those then. That short, long composite. What do you got? Um, long bow. Alright. Fill this in really quick and then I'll be uh, good to go. Uh, some will take a bow as well, if they have any more. Yeah, they're able to you the bow. Uh, normally they have men that run the bows, but right now those men are uh, up in the uh, in the sails trying to get as much wind as they can. I cast Mage Armor. That's actually a good point. I pull out a wand to shield and apply it to myself. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Some will cast Bark, bark Skin with a Kai Point. As you guys are buffing up and readying, uh, you take a look and the ship is now closer. It's about 80 feet off deck. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to start shooting away at the nearest guy um, while trying to stay as close to safe as possible. So you just want me to full round or what do you want to do? Um, right now it's just theater of the mind because... Um, yeah, go ahead and just roll me your full one. We'll do that. Cool. Excellent. I gotta rearrange um, those. So, your first couple of shots do hit various things. Um, you do end up hitting a couple of the guys that are on deck. Uh, however, your fourth shot does go wide and careen into the ocean. That's fine, they're not my arrows. Follow that up with my own. I don't know why I didn't roll damage, but... That's fine. Uh... Yeah, 
your first and your third attack does hit hit another person. Um, you do tell that they're not, it's not doing quite as much damage as you thought it would. Oh, it definitely isn't. But you're doing some sort of damage. If it's if the helmsman is at all in view, whether I'm doing damage or not, I would love to har harry him. Keep him off the wheel. Uh, so he would be at the back of the ship. Uh, normally ships are... I know this because I just was looking at Skull and Shackles. I believe they're 30 feet long. So if the front of the ship is 80 feet from the, your ship, then you're looking at 120. Okay, so that's one increment, so negative two on all attacks. 110. I'm horrible at math. Oh, good. All right. Oh, shit. Well, something cool has wow. to happen. <laughs> uh, as you guys are firing your arrows and uh, and, uh, chains preparing to do what she's going to do, you see one of these green ickly goos collide with w the mass above. And it attaches itself to the rigging. And it starts to spread. Then looks up and just perks his head. Well, that can't be good. And then it opens. And you see... Safe? What is that thing? Um, anyone want to give me a... I do what my knowledge is on this character anymore. Probably not vocal. <laughs> Doubt it's no book. Uh, Dungeoneering. Ooh, me! Me, I have that. I have it so good! Oh, you do have it really good! Why does it say the thing twice? Because it's Vince being lazy fixing the sheep. <laughs> Scold him! I have. Why are you at it? Tell him to trim it down. Um. Uh, Faith, you know exactly what's crawling out of this green icky goo. He's a specialist. Uh, it's, it's a Grindelo. It's we a Grindelow. Have, but we already have a Grindel. As more of them crawl out and then drop to the deck of the ship. A new picking operation is smart. Oh, hand to hand. Oh, now this I can manage. Then he quickly drops the bow at his feet and pulls out his rapier. I didn't expect the Grindelas to show up so quickly. Hey man, they're quick, apparently. Oh. So. No, me, me, my turn. Um. GM, I have animal skin. The Witch Major Hex. But I didn't know how to go through and pick individual pelts and how to price them, so I just set aside a thousand gold. As a generic, I probably have this pelt kicking around in my handy haversack. Is that okay? That, that'll work. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I figured a thousand gold, considering most pelts are listed for like five gold. A thousand gold would be whatever I happen to use today. It's whatever I happen to have in my bag. A plus. Um, I'm going to turn into a raven because I can. It's a shame you don't have a twin that does the water version of the same thing. Hold on. Were we in a hurricane? Yes. I retract that. Let me find a bigger bird. <laughs> You're gonna need a bigger bird. I'm I gonna mean, need a bigger bird. <laughs> that's not a bad an, idea. An albatross, maybe? A rock? I can only do between tiny and large. Uh, giant eagle. I think are large. Something.
Yeah, giant eagles are large. Yeah, okay. So, instead of wearing a raven, well, I don't worry, I have one of those in my backpack too. <laughs> I'm gonna wear a giant eagle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm going to be the giant eagle. And be the bird. Magical cosplay, go! Pretty ah! hard. Y'all are nerds. Oh, lordy. Alright, yeah, put you guys where you're gonna be, and then we'll go into initiative. Well, let's um, see. The enemy ship was starboard or port? Or stern? God, it's been forever since I've been on a ship. Right, or left, or back? Open. That way! Alright, starboard. Like, so, we were, like, back in this corner. Alright, so Grendel and I are shooting at it from the railing, I guess. Uh, I'm good with where I am, actually, because ideally I want to be standing next to safe at all times. Gotcha. I'm flapping. I'm also large. Wish you need, you need like, the, the beaded fringe dress if you're going to be the flapper. I mean, mm -hmm. look at her. She's almost got it. That's true. Very close. Get the whole headdress thing on. Grendel might want to get in on that, too. There you I, was go. Just, you I was just trying to figure out at what size I get blown away. Yes, I need to be large. Uh, mine's actually two higher because I'm in my favorite. No, four higher because I'm in my favorite environment. So I'm a 26 point uh, one three. I'll nice. edit it. I got it. Sorry. We good. from the nets as the cannons from the fired ship were landing onto the sails and dripping to the, to the floor. Alright, let's fucking do this. Um, I'm gonna target the closest one. Actually, we have a mug. What kind of mug are you, anyway? I am a, uh, just an unchained monk. Oh, okay, so no uh, architect or anything. Great. Uh, in that case, I will leave the close ones to you, and, um, just out of curiosity, this guy dropped to this spot, right? Like, from the rigging? Yes, they did. Sorry, I was using the wrong button. No, it's okay. Um, so he dropped to that spot and hasn't done anything since, he just kind of fell and landed? Correct. Their okay, surprise cool. round was for them to land on the... Gotcha, gotcha. I, uh, I ask because I have improved snapshots, so I get a 10-foot reach, so if he does something fucky, I can shoot him. Uh, in the meantime, can I see this guy? Whoop, that was the wrong button. This guy. Uh, you can see the top of his head, but he's currently higher than you. Uh, that's fine. I have improved precise shots, so I should be okay, right? Yes. Okay, cool. 
Excellent. I'm gonna shoot that guy a lot. Okay. And shoot that guy a lot, you do. Um, so he dies with the first arrow. That's fine. Second one will go on to... Let's see. Can I see these guys down over here? Uh, they're on the upper deck, so no. Okay. Uh, by, the, by your captain at the wheel. Okay, so neither of them. Can I see this guy down here? Yeah. Sweet. I'm going to nail him with the next couple, if necessary. Okay. Uh, he dies... I'm guessing you're gonna transfer it over. Fourth attack is gonna miss. Okay. Um, rapid shot. Do you want the guy at the top? Yeah, ideally this guy, if I can. Okay. Perfect. Hesgrindel just chuckles to himself and turns around and just does a flurry of arrows everywhere. Phelan! Oh, Captain! He's just going to run right past this guy. Accepting any AOs that might present themselves. To stand himself right next to the captain. Okay. So he will get an attack of op. I think he will parry and repost as he runs by. Uh, parry you do. You want to roll your repost, and you definitely cut him in half. He bats his sword aside and slides his own blade right up the the cross guard and slides it into his neck as he runs by. <laughs> uh, this one, I believe, is dead. Yes. Some. Alright, so Summit is going to jump up and with a um, very acrobatic flip, he's going to uh, just run and put his best foot forward. Actually, seeing that this guy's dead, he's going to change mid-stance and then run this way. <laughs> And uh, he's going to do a flying sidekick. And uh, he has this... What is this called? Uh, flying kick style? Whatever it is. Okay. Right? So style he, strike, yes. Yeah, style strike. So he can do this as part of a flurry. So, that guy's dead. Oh no. I had so much more to do to him. Okay. <laughs> they can do it to his corpse if you really want to. <laughs> I'm just uh, waiting this guy's it. still alive, so he's going to run up on Thalen and try to stab him. I'm just waiting for us to get up next to the other okay. ship and him to fly and kick across to the other ship. <laughs> okay, he, he's dead. He regrets ever coming to you. Uh, Captain, get lady. behind me! You giant bird lady. Alright. Well, I'll just fly 20 feet in this general direction. And, you know, I I'm just gonna evil eye this guy while in birdie form. That's what I do. Okay. Is that the one that requires a save? It does have a save, but he's gonna have it anyways. This guy's probably not gonna survive for longer than, you he's know. He's a minus four yeah. to, let's say, AC. Okay. Cool. AC? Yeah. That's okay, we'll just go with that. Freaking computer. Um, I think you have 
pretty much killed them all. He is probably scared. Yeah. That guy's dead. This one is still here. And he is really confused of what he wants to do. Because normally he just causes all kinds of havoc. But you guys have really not been nice to these people. They just wanted to say hi. Uh, I think he's going to go say hi to the captain, though. Yeah, he misses the captain. His little tiny spear impales into the wheel. And the captain's able to jerk it away. This guy's dead. This guy's dead. The ship approaches closer and fires. It's now 60 feet away. Hey, Grendel. Don't suppose you could do anything about them gunners? Gladly. All of the... Uh, cannon fire misses. Splashes in the water. Uh, this time you are here, able to hear the little gurgles of the Grendels. Go underwater. Grendel can hear the gurgles of the Grendels? Yes. Grendel! All right, um, well, since Safe has decided to fuck off over there, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to, I'm guessing the ship is to our right, yes? Uh, the ship is, yeah, bottom right. Yeah, I'll put the ship here. Generally right. where it's at. Okay. Um, We're being attacked by a skiff. I'm going to five foot to there. Tiny and... toy boat. Do you guys feel better now? Yes. You're comforted. So you're just gonna scooch there. I don't know how far away these guys are, but they're all undead, yeah? Right. The one's okay. on the deck. Gotcha. Wow, those are bad rolls. Those are bad rolls, and because of the hurricane... Three, two, three. Yeah, the only one that really hits is the rapid shot, as one of the gunners falls back. That's fine. I mean, you know, not my arrows. Yeah. Phelan! Phelan's gonna try to roll past the captain and past the Grindylo. Get up behind him or to the side. Feeling 42 beats of CMD. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's gonna spin around from his kne kneeling position and stab it between in the lungs from the from below. And you stab us away. You happy? Are you happy with yourself? I am satisfied, yes. Yeah. Rather enjoy this character. Some! Everything on deck is dead. Alright. He's going to look around for an enemy to fight. And he's going to hold his stomach as he's still feeling a bit queasy. Oh man, I can fly you over there if you want to do some brawling on the other ship. <laughs> the, the half squid, half man guts spewed over the, the deck probably aren't going to help you too much. Yes. Um, and let's see, I could move my my movement with, uh, with the flying kick. For the record, I would love to see the eagle drop a, arm, a live and armed monk into the ship. So, yeah, that's what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll run over to the giant eagle and uh, kind of put my arms up in the air ready to be 
luck. Uppies, uppies. Monk wants uh, uppies. Give, 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 I'm gonna let you do it. Roll a perception check. So that you can see what you're getting into. Uh, this is a perception check for some. Yeah, for anyone. Anyone's allowed to roll it. Now that the ship is closer, you guys can get a better look at it. Ah, Grendel, and your eagle eyes. <laughs> That's what you keep rolling twos. <laughs> what is I'm, up I'm with busy, you? okay? Uh, Quit eyeing up my bird. Grendel, the ship, as it comes closer, you realize it seems to shimmer, and it's not altogether there. Uh, so Grendel looks at the ship and then looks at the monk and just starts laughing a little bit and goes, No, that's... I can't do that to this Listen, man, I wouldn't go over to that ship if I were you. I don't think you can land on it. I'm pretty sure you're going to be going for a swim if you try. Stay on the ship? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm really disappointed. I was like, damn, this is gonna be awesome. Somebody had to go ruin it. I'm a little disgrendled right now. Oh, yeah. She's been making that joke for three years, for the record. Almost. Well, no, it's probably about four by now. Um, so... How close is that ship? How close is the nearest intelligent sentient thing oh uh, the ship is 60 feet back behind you guys is there stuff kind of along the ledges there that if i were to fly and be like 30 feet out you know i could look at them funny yes but they're un they're all undead aren't they oh they're all undead oh shit um, as far as you guys can see yes all right well in that case i'm gonna give myself a funny look all right negative 48 your ac uh, no, 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 no. I'm giving myself a funny look for myself because I am giving myself a hex whose name I can't recall. Hold on. <laughs> ah, yes. Protective luck. I just, I want to hear you cackle as a bird. And then cackle. And then I'm going to cackle. So I'm going to go really loud a few times over as I cackle that shit for me and have it on me for three rounds. Anyone nearby can just see Thalon's shoulders scrunch up as he ducks his head, squinting his eyes. Oh man, it's just doing that thing again! <laughs> yeah, you get used to it. I am a proud Murican. So much eagle, so much screeching. <laughs> It's like the 4th of July up in here. There. Excellent. Alright, the ship comes closer. It's now 40 feet away. That's more cannon fire. Phil right. just moves, uh, hops up on one of the boxes over here to get in a position to leap to the captain's aid if he needs it. Now you would think with them getting that close, they would actually be able to hit some shots, but I don't know. Their undead eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Grendel. Oh, my bad. Sorry, I was talking to Allie. Um, okay. So, I guess we're right back to the plan as per usual, given that we're still getting shot at. Uh, hold on. Another five foot step in the direction of these fucking assholes, and lots more shooting. Very well done. Uh, your first attack and your rapid shot take out another gunner. Cool. As you're slowly thinning the herd on the other ship. How many of them are there? Say 
It's one of your left. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thailin. Uh, he'll just ready in action if uh, any more of those Grindelows should make their way onto the ship or anyone boards to, to okay. charge at them. Some? Right. Some is uh, still covering his ears from the screeching and moves over here awaiting anything to come over. Okay. Safe? Oh... I'm so not good against undead. So... Um... Shit, I'm gonna enlarge. Oh shit, I can't cast spells and I'm a bird, but I can unbird real fucking fast. Okay, you're unbirding? Uh, I'm moving first. Okay. And moving first, and then I'm unbirding. And I am assuming unbirding is a standard action to dismiss, like it would be if it was a spell. Unless it's opening your ability to that says it's something different, I would assume so, yes. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I know it functions like the spell, so I'm assuming that the same dismissal time as a spell, it doesn't really specify, so. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say anything, so I'll assume for the same as a typical spell to spell. Um, so yeah, that'll be it. And I apologize, I have to jump up real quick because I haven't actually fed Alex for like six hours, so I'm gonna go grab a pot oh, and get some water to boil. Keep on that food schedule like it's cranky. As it comes near, it's now 20 feet away. Um, Grendel, with your sharp eyes, you do notice several of them jump ship and start swimming under the water. As the ship comes closer. The skeleton arc? Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, how many decks does this ship have? From what you can see, there's the main deck and then an upper deck, like what you, what we have, what you have here. Okay, so just what we can see, basically. Right. Gotcha. There's not, like, uh, sleeping quarters or anything below? Um, there are... But there's no way into it from the water, I'm guessing. Correct. Okay, so everything is enclosed except for the top here. Cool, all right. Uh, so Grendel will go ahead and call out to some and Thalen. Uh, we got a couple boarders who think themselves slick. Maybe you should get to the edge and be ready for them. I'll be here. On which side? If we're on the water, who knows what which way they come up? Doubt they're gonna waste their time going all the way around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch the captain just the same. Lose him, we're gonna be stranded out here in the middle of water, in nowhere. Probably wise. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some more gunners. That's why the fuck not. Wow, those middle two really don't want to roll well. No, they don't. Uh, yeah, so same, you take out another gunner. Just one? Because my first shot gets, uh... Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you take out... You take out a gunner and another one looks pretty hard. Cool, okay. Works for me. I'll just keep plugging away until I run out of their arrows, and then I'll have to pass to one of these fuckers oh, for another yeah, what does that sound? thing. Oh, that's, uh... <laughs> that sounds like a, like a kettle. Yeah, that's the horrible sound of uh, one of our pots on the induction plate we have. Because the induction plate is a wonderful thing, except when it decides to make that sound, and then it's just the spawn of safety. <laughs> You're gonna be deaf to that so frequency soon. Yeah. So that's, so that's, I hope so. That's the plate itself? 
No, it's the so because of the way that an induction plate works, it's the um, induction plate and the pot itself uh, like reverberating okay. against one another at a horrible frequency because magnets. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's it's awful. <laughs> I would I would have thrown that pot away. Well, no, that's the thing. Though. It's really awesome because like the pot gets hot and you can just slap your hands down on the induction plate and it's not hot at all, right? Magnetic induction's awesome. But, but if, the, if the pot's gonna whistle like that, I'd throw the fucking pot away. Yeah, but it works super fast and <laughs> it takes like zero energy and it's not hot at all. So <laughs> it hurts to listen to sometimes, but it's awesome. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Phelan, the ship uh, approaches. Um, I guess I'll officially ready in action to uh, charge anything that should come aboard. Okay. On the forecastle at any rate, up in the back here. Some. Some is waiting for something to attack. He is running to her chair right now. Give me one sec. Actually, I was walking briskly. I would not run inside. That is just a recipe for disaster. If you had scissors. Are you kidding? I run around with knives for fun, okay? Anyways. Uh, I cast in large person, because someone should always be four squares big. On, uh, Grendel. On Grendel? On Grendel. May, may I humbly okay. suggest not Grendel? Grendel wants it. Oh. Yes. I guess if he's using a, uh, composite bow. Oh. Uh, oh no, so it wouldn't change his, his damage, that's right. No, 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 it changes his damage because I instructed him to purchase large arrows. <laughs> oh, okay. Because, <laughs> granted, on a normal thing, and he's got an efficient quiver, and I told him to put him in the javelin spot, because then you know they'll still fit. I know what I'm about. I don't have a quiver of arrows. You have a quiver so of dowels. He can shoot <laughs> large arrows, and they'll still be large after leaving. Listen, so, yes. yes. Sometimes, I, make, I make him large. Sometimes you got to shoot telephone poles at people. <laughs> As he just picks the mast off the deck of the ship and loads it into his bow. Pretty much. <laughs> the biggest arrows. Hang on, I gotta borrow this. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, so she starts cast are you using a, a a wand or are you casting it? Um Casting time would be the same either way. Well, yeah, all um wand, which is... mm -mm. No? Uh, uh, it's still the same length I, I, re I reread that just a couple days ago. It's the same casting time, no matter what you use. Well, and I'm using a scroll. Okay. Alright. So, you start casting that. Next round, he will be big. Oh, man. All right, Lovely. All right, jumping back up to, you know, keep cooking. God damn it, these things are right on top of you and they still fucking miss. Oh, wrong one. Sorry, you still have some residue. Alright, your ship's right on top of you guys now. As these things start to climb over the top. Wow, they're fast as shit. Magic land, and I'm the DM, and I'm kind of trying to get you guys to where the good stuff is. Fair okay? enough. <laughs> I like how they're all synchronized. These guys got their shit together. Right? <laughs> I'm dead. They've had eons to practice. Could you make me big, please? Uh, yes, I can. Thank you. 
public company? Oh wait, right, it's yeah. not time yet. We gotta wait until fucking yeah. safe yeah. is done. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a smart man, I promise. So, when you type toll, it doesn't work? Hmm. That seems like a bug. Somebody should report that. Right? What the fuck is that? Oh, that's an issue. Yeah, cause like I said, I forgot the, uh... Macro. Listen, I was frightened for a second there. <laughs> and so I don't have to do it again, I'm just leaving the Grindelas on there. Because I figure if they do finally hit you with the things, I could just use the same Grindelas. Fair enough. They all shoot out of the water and land briskly onto the ship. Does some get the plunge point in the face for entering his threatened square? And uh, yes, yeah, some does get to press the one that's right next to him in the face. Nice. Alright, I'm going to set it to his face. You punch him and you punch him soundly. Nice. As he falls off the ship and into the water. Wait, come back! <laughs> All he wants is a fucking flurry. <laughs> <laughs> Can I reach out and touch him by the old shirt? <laughs> That's good. Oh, by the way, so you guys can see what these guys look like. Oh, damn, that's rad. Old man of the sea. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I dig it. Vikings? Oh, and these other ones earlier. Hey, Grindy Lowe's. Draugr, I think, is what they're technically called, right? Are they First related to goblins? They kind of yes, they them. are related to goblins. Yep. They're like sea, sea, sea goblins. goblins. That's exactly what they're, they're. <laughs> the Cherk's cousin. Look, <laughs> I see the family resemblance. <laughs> they have the same smile. Ah, uh, Grendel! You're currently yeah. getting a spell cast upon you. I am indeed. Um, you know what? Why not? Fuck these guys in particular. I am also going to cast a spell. That spell is Gravity Bow. Alright. Oh dear lord. Oh okay. wow. This is, this is going to be entertaining. Grendel transforms into a turret, basically. Oh, that's right. Thalen, you had a uh, ready to action. So that can go first and then you can have your turn. Charge! I a plus two on this. Not that it's really needed. I mean, it counts on the crit. Yeah, let's see here. That does confirm. So he is dead. Now it's your turn. And seeing the other one back here, he's going to move right back to the cat inside. 15, 20, 25. He's going to stay right here, ready in action to stab anything that comes within range. Oh, good. The captain moved forward? Perfect. Yeah, the captain, yeah. Sorry, he's in the same square as the wheel is. It just didn't work. So I thought I'd move forward. Perfect. I am guarding so his back. So sitting on the mast. There you go. Uh, they didn't hit. Some! Let's see where we can go. Ah, we can go across the ship. Flying sidekick. Wah! Right here. Boom, okay. to the head. All right, we're gonna try a stunning fist with this one. Uh, I I assume I can do a stunning foot. Stunning yeah, I mean... toe, if you want. <laughs> stunning breath of air. Stunning hip thrust, if you really want to get into it. So that does hit. Cool. So does if he damage. is stunned, um, I guess it's a fort save for stun. And if so, I have uh, Medusa's Wrath, so I get an extra two hits. I like it. All right, so he fails that. He's stunned. Oh god! Oh god! Why? Why? Whoa! 
All right, so that's a lot of stuff I know. So haste gives me an extra one. Do I get haste in a flurry? I think I do, since I did a flying sidekick. Do you have haste from something? Yeah, boots of speed. Oh, then yeah, if you can pull around for sure. Okay. You totally get that. Alright. Um, you obliterated this guy. There's nothing left but a giant pile of bones and some tatters of cloth. Alright, then I won't spend a key point. Oh, look at that. One of them actually gets to act. <laughs> He's going to walk up and try to stab Thalen. After I stab him in the eye for approaching. Wow. Wow. Um, okay. He's... And I just realized how much damage he did, so... It doesn't matter. Thalen just stands... Stiff arms him with the rapier in hand and just leaves the skull behind while the body falls to its feet in front of him. This one will charge as he roars. I'm gonna okay. shoot him part way there. Okay. I'm guessing you have snapshot. I have improved snapshot. Fuck this guy in particular. Alright. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I have gravity bell on. Give me one sec. I just gotta use that in background. Should be really fun to watch. It was underwhelming. A little un underwhelming. I mean, it was a five and a five and a one. What do you want from me? <laughs> that was an AOO with a bow. Fuck you. That was badass. <laughs> I liked it. Fair enough. He is partly damaged. He is going to try to hit you with his great axe, though. Okay. Uh, 19? 29. Of course. Sir, not meant to do anything. Guess what? You're big now. I am big. Faith, you finished casting your spell. He is so big. Um, I am going to... Well, I'm going to... Evil eyes, this thing, and wait, what the heck? Making sure it works the way I think it works. Yeah, okay. I target both these guys with evil eye. Okay. You can try to make a save, but I mean, it gets applied for one round anyway, and I'm getting ready to cackle right now, so. <laughs> Evil Eye best. Evil Eye is best. Uh, so minus four to AC. Lovely. Love it. Love it. And it'll be on them for two rounds, because I now giggle maniacally, and then take a five-foot step back. Awesome. Well, there is no Grindelu, but as you guys are fighting these things, you hear something in the distance. Hey, 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 this one too. Got two. I got split hex. I'm a piece of shit. Ah, yes. I don't know if you guys actually heard it. Uh, I, did I did hear something. Something's grumpy. <laughs> Something wicked this way comes. As you guys are fighting, uh, you happen to look up and notice that the portal is right there. And sitting atop of it. Well, that looks totally fun to fight on a ship in water. That's pretty badass. Don't worry, guys. 
I'll remove all of its AC, its to hit. I love and then the it's saved for fun. I love the fact that this dragon knows how to accessorize. <laughs> I'm just really glad I went with acid and not electricity for my bow. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, we're going to be in water. Electricity will totally work out. And then, and then I thought better of it. So he will lift off from his perch and fly over. And as he does so, he will bathe the ship in his weapon. And... He's telling me this ship is equipped with lightning rods. Maybe, maybe not. Huh. How can he do this? He's not gonna get everyone. That makes him sad. My sad little dragon. <laughs> little. Alright, so that's both Grendel and Thalen. As Saith ducks to the side just enough to avoid the lightning. I need reflex saves from you guys. I would like to uh, say for the record that I have evasion. Okay. Me too. Everyone except for uh, Sayeth. Evasion action. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, you're I fine, Mike. The, 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 the lightning bolt went behind you. Okay. Was it like that one guy though? I need to make his save. Oh, the other little ship guy for him. Uh, Mark needs to make one too. Do I? Yeah. Yes, please, Mark. Oh, okay. All right, that... I missed that part. Did I say Mike? I meant Mark. Ah, uh, you guys are fine. Um, but these guys, on the other hand. The giant orc manages to nimbly dodge the laser beam while everybody else gets <laughs> fucking fried. So, this deckhand here falls to the ground. Oh, that one. That's gotta be a pleasant odor in front of you. I mean, uh, unwashed this bird guy... sailor. Yeah, he falls. He, you see him jolt and then fall off the ship. Nice. As he takes 51 electric damage. Um, I, yep, I believe that guy missed. All right, cool. Wow, that poor dude. Dead. 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 One lives! <laughs> One lives! He is going to jump off the top and run at this guy here and hit him. Uh, that's 13. Yep, that'll hit. As this deckhand falls. Dead. Dead. Oh no, this one still lives! He's gonna try to hit you, Grendel. Okay. What is the evil that I actually do to him? I see. That will miss as his giant axe clashes with the metal cannon beside him. Okay, so as tempted as I am to start shooting the shit out of the dragon, for now we gotta get rid of these two fucks. So we're going left to right. Cause I gotta actually we're going right to left. Cause I gotta get rid of some of these fuckers. Okay. Do you have that ability that makes us see you no longer provoke? Yes, I, I do have uh, point blank point, point blank, blank master. master. Yeah. yeah. Rangers are bullshit, man. They're great. It was middle too, man. It's 
rough every time, but their AC is minus four, so maybe. You doing right to left? Yes. Okay. Uh, the first guy falls. Uh, this guy, yep, the rest of that will kill him. Sweet, alright. So, I'm guessing first one took out the first guy, and then the third and the rapid shot took out the other guy? Uh, the third one misses. Really? Because you are in a hurricane. Right, yeah. Yeah, negative eight to your attacks aren't very nice. Yeah, that's um, true. But the rapid shot hit and finished him off. Sweet. Because you did a shit ton of damage to him earlier. That is true. Alright. Ah, okay. Anything else? Um, yeah, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and five foot to there and use an attack of opportunity to boost Saith's AC. Awesome. Awesome. As your turn finishes, um, the captain's gonna turn to Thalen and point out the island. Point I think them. it's time that you, uh, be what? hopping off. We're just gonna try to outrun that thing. Points at the what? The island. Like, swim? The island. How far is that? Um, I'm gonna say from the bow of the ship to the island, you're looking at about 30 feet. Yeah, Bala doesn't swim. Sorry, I'm a dude, I swim. Plus I'm big, so, you know, we can make it happen. Um, there is a little boat next to you. Can you float on a couple of uh, Grendel's arrows? There you go. <laughs> we'll just lash them together. Make tie, no, 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 no. Just tie a rope to my ankle. <laughs> you know, I think Looney they Tunes actually style. have like a, a walrus skin belt or something, you know, something swimming. Well, I'm sure you do, since you set aside a thousand gold. Hey man, I have a thousand doing... gold and a handy haversack. <laughs> And you knew it was an ocean theme thing. I was gonna say, I knew I was going in the water. I think I've got a fish scale bracelet is one of the things I've decided I definitely have. Turn into a fucking hunchback uh, whale and swallow everyone. <laughs> there you go. Let's get real Geppetto in here. Alright, as the, uh, the captain is effectively kicking us off. Uh, oh, that's some fine things. I guess we'll be going then. And Thalen is gonna grab any kind of like loose board, empty barrel, any kind of flotation device. He can get his hands on and he's gonna take a swan dive. Okay. He's gonna jump as far as he possibly can. Which is well, actually pretty far. Footage. I don't remember the conversions. I think it's like five or ten for every five feet or something like that. I don't remember long jump. Anyway, from up on the forecastle, I'm sure he can get out like here ish. Yep, that sounds perfect. And he quickly grabs onto the, the sides of a barrel under one of his arms and starts Start doggy paddling. Roll me a swim check. I mean, it's, it's in there. Oh, it is in there. Wow, good thing you brought along that flotation device. If plastic floaties were a thing yet, he'd be wearing them. Okay, you're able to start kicking along. Using the barrel as counterweight to you almost drowning. Some! Um, he smiles and he begins his flying sidekick across the water. And he's like creating this little, uh, this little water um, divot as he goes through, like skiing through it. Got a fucking say on over here. All right. He smiles as he passes Thalen. How far does that thing get you? Forty feet. Here 
Yep. Lovely. As you finally stop for your flying kick, you wanna give me a swim check? Make sure you don't get swept over by the waves. You got it. It's kind of like one of those bad martial arts moves where it just like dances over the water. <laughs> you know, you're a monk. I'm pretty sure you, you could run fast enough. Yeah, could I just run over the water? So I think that's 5e monks that can do that. <laughs> I love the fact that these things are broken. Oh, yeah, swim, great. swim! <laughs> it's great with the name, too. Because it's something long. Swim, swim! <laughs> I would say so. You've got a very large dragon growling at you guys. Alright, you're doing good. You're able to keep keep uh, afloat. Say it! Alright, well, since I'm already got some, I don't know, eagle wings strapped to my back like a fucking backpack or some shit. I don't know how you wear bird skin, but damn it, I'm doing it! He, he keeps suggesting things like feathers and teeth, and I'm like, no, 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 it's very specific. You have to wear its skin. So I figure I've just ripped a couple of wings off of an eagle and fastened it into those, you know, those like backpack style wings you get at Disney, or uh, I guess at the Disney stores as well. I'm but, just um, thinking of very Halloween. bad cosplay. Now I'm just thinking those little backpack wings, and I'm just like, yeah! I'm not gonna <laughs> All right. lie, I'm like totally picturing Vegas Feather Girl here. See, that was, a, yeah. that was what I was saying. You get a feather boa, and then you're done. Yeah, it has to be skin. It's really specific, so. Anyway, uh, since I've already got this out, I will turn into a giant eagle again. And, you know, start hauling ass. Are you going to take your friend with you? He's too heavy, and I don't have enough strength. Fuck you, I'm big boned. <laughs> well, that didn't work, but anyways. Alright, yeah, go ahead and start. Oh, there we go. Ass. Oh, and I'm, I'm big. I'm very large. There you go. Thank you. It's the dragon's turn. Alright, Mr. Dragon. The dragon's gonna fly closer to the ship and attack the actual ship. <laughs> I'm glad we're abandoning ship now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this dick over here is like, you guys better get the fuck off, because we're gonna run. Bitch, it's a dragon. Where do you think you're gonna go? The ship is gonna out by a dragon. Don't tell them that. <laughs> as, as we watch the two giant ballistas that are pointing around at the dragon sit idle. Pretty much. I don't know, they fired at him. There's two guys sitting right there. It's all, you just see these arrows fly at them and completely miss. You know, this, this crew wasn't very smart. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, this guy's gonna charge you, buddy. Go ahead and do your thing. Your snapshot shit. I got a great big fuck you for you, guy. Lovely. Yeah, that's a great big fuck you. As he falls to the deck. More cannon fire! As this time the can the fire does connect and more Grindelos start to descend down the mast. Grindel! You've been told to get the fuck off. Uh, okay. So, Grendel, kind of looking at this captain incredulously, shrugs. Meanwhile, you know, the entire way going, God damn it, I wanted to fight a fucking dragon. And then just gives the dragon as many fingers as he has and bucks off off the boat. With, like, a double move. Cool, cool, cool. You just being contrary. I just want to see Grendel. It's like, oh, fine. Like, half heartedly shoot 
bunch of arrows of the dragon and managed to actually take it out. That would be really fun. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me just fall around the dragon. It'll be fine. We'll see what happens. Okay. Every shot's a 20. Uh, okay. So you want a swim check for me? Yes. Just gotta find my swim. It's actually one higher than this, whatever it is. Yeah, that sounds right. You can tell for a second there. Wolf Cat Combo, thank you for joining us. Let's comment, you guys are awesome. Hey! We are pretty awesome. Yes, we're we we're pretty amazing. I love how I timed that dragon word just, just at the right moment. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Grindel. As you plod off the ship, I just see you do the, you know, the step over. Don't even try to dive. Just step right over and plummet to the water. Uh, for a moment, the water does go up and over your head, but you're able to give a quick couple kicks with your large legs and surface. Cool. Huge thighs. Vast bulging thews. Large thighs. Large thighs. Okay. Zaylin. I only doggy battle. I'm not gonna do this to you guys. We'll do this. Because I love you guys and I wanna get to the good parts. As you guys swim with all your might, the ship turns away and starts to sail off with the dragon closely behind it. Uh, you do notice a couple, the sh other ship follows it as well. And off in the distance, you can start to see the ship kind of list to one side as you step into the portal. Uh, as we're walking into the portal, Grand would like to mention, you know, that captain was a fucking dick. He deserves this. Well, you know what? I kind of agree with you. As, like, superhero movie style, we're walking into the cave with the silhouette of the burning ship in the background, walking away from it, not looking. Cool guys don't look at explosions, come on. Exactly. Well, at least he got us here. Now, would you consider that a victory? Yeah. I mean, you lived. Any landing you can walk away from. Froggy paddle from. Yes. You know, it always makes me laugh on maps like these, because the maps are beautiful. And it's absolutely nothing against anybody who sets them up, any GM, any whatever. But like, it always makes me laugh because you throw, you have to throw stuff on the map that doesn't exactly match the way that the map looks. And it reminds me every single time, like those old fucking Scooby-Doo episodes, where you know the thing that's going to move because it looks more detailed than the background. <laughs> it gets me every time. Play it up for one second here. Wolfcat Combo, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Hey, people love us. A reminder, all tips and revenues go directly to the players for pizza and or steam. But thank you. We appreciate you. Hey That's man, my lot. birthday went and I got no pizza? I don't know how I feel about this. I... Steve here. He did offer, if I recall correctly. I, I turned mean, it down. you've since gotten it. I am kidding. I know. I have yet to find my pizza place here in Poolsville, but when I do, I'll probably bring this up again. <laughs> pizza place by you is called DiGiorno. Yes, exactly. Or uh, Red Baron. <laughs> um, so stupid question of the evening. Remind me what our ultimate purpose was for heading uh, this way. If I recall correctly, it was go into Portal, kick the shit out of everything in Portal, leave with lots of money. That works. Exactly. So what do we see? As you guys emerge from the Portal, knowing that the ship captain is definitely going to die, uh, you step into a underwater temple. Uh, We're not like actively underwater, are we? Uh, if you look up, you do see 
um, that the ceiling is made out of glass and domed. Okay, but we're not swimming, obviously. No, 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 no. You're in a temple right now. Okay, and, cool. And, yeah. Um, you, as you look up, you do see a whale swim by. Some nervously looks at the arrows that Grendel has. You'll be careful with those, won't you? I always am. Come on now. Uh, the gentle sounds of the waves from the tidal pool to the east fill the temple. And along the sides are coral formations. Well, aside from the creepy dead guys and the dragon trying to flay us alive, this place actually looks kind of nice. Is there any sort of knowledge check I can make about where we are? Like, maybe this is like a temple or like a... Are we on a different plane? Is there anything... Um, give me either a religion or planes check. Yeah, like is this temple Ikea set number 52, Orion? Or Juan e Paladin? Am I good to cast a spell real quick? Yeah. You're right. in free movement right now. Okay. I'm going to just quickly cast visualization of the body and then life bubble and tag everybody with the life bubble. What's the duration on that? I know it's a while. Um, three hours, I believe. We're 12. There are four of us. Yeah, three hours. All right. If it comes to it, I do have scrolls of water breathing. Cool. Shouldn't need it, but we'll see. Yep. As you look around, um, you know that this is a temple to God's reign. And that gotcha. the feeling and the atmosphere, you feel like that you've stepped into what could possibly be her private domain. Oh dear. Um, what do we know about Gazra? Just everything that people would typically know? I mean, it's a common god, so I mean... Yeah, the god, it's the goddess of the storm and sky, and also the goddess of wave and surf. General nature god. He's, uh, gotcha. he's both sexes. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's a little freaky that way. Hey man, it's a uh, fucking god. They can be whatever the hell they want, it's true. Or whomever they want. Exactly. So, and in uh, fact, um, even from your spot, you do notice that the statue here is of Gajray's, um Like this? Yes, thank you. Is it fairly androgynous, or does it favor the male or female version? If you look at it from one way, it looks male. If you look at it from another way, it looks female. Okay, cool. That's good to know, then. Because uh, the male version is Storm and Sky, and the female version version is Wave and Surf, so that would have been potentially telling, but apparently not. <laughs> so, uh, what do we gotta do in here, huh? Uh, temples and me don't exactly uh, meet toe to toe. You say well, that. Don't pee on it. You say that like you've never been into a uh, Temple of Calistria. I'm pretty sure I saw you walking out of one last week. Oh, that's different. Temple's a temple, isn't it? Don't do the same things in, in here as you would in there. Well, unless you're off right now, I wouldn't dream of it. Grendel kind of, Grendel kind of gives Thalon a look. Like, he is potentially going to regret that if he keeps that line of questioning going. I love having a guard. This is great. <laughs> so is there a gate here, or is this just... Art? Um, it, it's just art. It, there's steps down. All right, cool. Just making sure. Stop um, stopping for a moment to, to listen carefully with the tiles and the lapping water. Is there any sound of motion or any activity at all in here? Perception check. Oh, I rolled on this time. 
something wrong actually rolled high. I Man, it's not even worth me rolling perception. Something wrong. Perception, perception. Is there something wrong? <laughs> uh, as you guys step further into the temple, um, other than the lapping waves that are coming in and out of the temple, uh, you can kind of sort of hear movement in the water, but you're not quite sure if it's in the pool or if it's above you in the actual ocean. Hmm. But we don't hear anything beyond that, like, I don't know, things breathing, things moving around, stuff like that. Nope. I think there's, there's something in here with us. We all better stay behind me. I'll, I'll keep you safe. Slides this rapier out of its sheath. And tries to look like the big man. Nothing will get past me. <laughs> Of course it won't. Just the same. Maybe I should scout. Over at Saith with a wink. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you should do that. Uh. Uh, um, if it wasn't obvious, these things in the middle are pillars. Gotcha. Uh, so Grendel just kind of holds onto his bow in one hand and an arrow in the other and just gives Thalon a little bit of a look as he goes, you know, if you're careful, you'll be fine. If not, I might accidentally drop one of these into your ass. Yeah, yeah, talk tough, talk tough. Wouldn't be the first time someone tried to chase me off, but I ain't, I'm still here. I was going to laugh hysterically. Alright. Um, I would like to scout around using as much of the air, cover of the area as I can. Uh, kind of, I'm sure, in the same way that the monk is. Okay. Thalen will not even attempt it because Thalen is chronically too loud for his good. And these are just, like, coral formations, right? Correct. Okay. From what you can see. Right, I figured. Can we see into the water down here? Like, in this area? Because it's, like, slightly flooded, right? Right. It, that's where the, the pool is coming in and doing the waves. Um, the first area... I can hear mm -hmm. is uh, foamy, you know, like waves. But if you mm. look past it, the water is clear through here. Okay, and we can't see anything interesting in it, really? Nope. Alrighty. Good to know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sneak up to, like, the water's edge, probably. Right around, say, here-ish. Uh, see if I can see anything through the foam. Also, what's this in the middle of the room here? Uh, it looks like a... Um... A wishing well of some sort. But as you get, like, curious and kind of, like, peer over the edge, you can see that it's in like a continuous whirlpool. With little toy ships. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Once in a while, a cloud will form, and lightning will strike, and then the cloud will disappear. Hmm. Okay. Um, but can I see anything in the foam over here? Uh, give me a... Perception. That's a little better. Wow. Alright. Um, as you're watching the waves go back and forth, you do see what looks like a footprint. But then a wave comes in, disappears, and it washes it away. Uh, like a footprint in what? 
In the sand. Oh. Like there's okay. very recently someone walking in the foam. Okay. Uh, which direction was the footprint pointing? Out. Okay. Good to know. Uh, all right. Let's. See. I'll let Mike do anything if he wants to, because I've been kind of monopolizing it. Oh, you're doing just fine. I'm just kind of doing the the Barney Fife kind of thing. Just whenever you move, I kind of follow you and go to the next spot. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I'm good with that. Um. So. Can you tell me about what's going on in this little corner area? Because we're looking for gold and shit, so I mean, we may as well scour the place. Oh yeah, uh, just various statues of gods, right? In their various forms. Like this one is them in their female form, stretched out sexily. You sure this ain't a temple of Calistria? This one is her in her female form in a nice little you know, commoner's dress. Okay. Um, but there doesn't really look like there's anything valuable around here? No. Okay. Uh, are these anything in particular? Or... Uh, if you were to go and look, you can see through it, past the floor below to the water underneath you guys. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, sure, you know what, I'll, I'll scooch over there and, and take a look at this one, see if I can see what's down below. As you take a look, um, it acts kind of like a, like a fisheye underneath it, so you can angle your head to look around. Um, and you do catch a school of manta rays. Swim by. Okay, so this is like under the temple that we're at right now. Right. Gotcha, and it looks like it's just open ocean down there? Correct. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, is there anything in particular of note below? Give me a perception check. Sure. You sure you don't want my 45 right there? I'm it's sure. pretty good 45. Um, you angle your head in just the way that you can catch the edges of what looks like a shipwreck. Interesting. How old does it look? Very old. Okay. Um, can I see anything in it? From that angle, no. Okay. You're just catching like the very, like the edge of the railing, maybe a mast. Right gotcha. down. Right. So just kind of the general impression that it's a shipwreck. Correct. All right. Uh, all right. Then I'll go back over here and scope out the whirlpool. Uh, as you look down, it is a continuous whirlpool. Uh, there are various ships of differing degrees. Um, even a few that you don't recognize. Um, that you, the player, would probably recognize as, you know, futuristic ships, but you, the, the character, just like, what the hell is that? Sure, okay. Um, they float about, do mock battles, and then separate. A cloud will form, a little hurricane. It's just like a little experiment inside of a whirlpool that represents Cosmos World. Gotcha. On the edges of the whirlpool are several cups. Um, okay, is there anything in the cup? Nope, cups empty. Gotcha. Uh, and is the water of the whirlpool in reach, or is it too far away? It is within reach. Okay. Um, I'll... Uh, this is going to be probably a very bad idea. First, I'm going to tag myself with a wand of uh, Longstrider quickly, and then I'm going to um, take one of the cups and try and scoop up just anything that's in there, really. Any of the ships, any whatever that's there and just see what happens. Okay. As you pick up a ship, or pick up a cup and dip it into the water, uh, behind you, you hear cracking. That's fun. Um, and you look back to see one of the coral formations stand up. Of course. Can I put the cup back? 
it watches you? Uh, I let go of the cup once it is set on the edge of the whirlpool. It just sits there and watches you. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's actually super fucking creepy looking. I feel so, so sorry for that artist. For having to draw that much detail. <laughs> yeah. Um... Can I pick up the cup again and then, like, pour the ship back into the whirlpool? You do so. And it seems to settle back in on itself. Gotcha. Alright. Um, what are... Do the cups look valuable at all? Or do they just, like, brass cups? Brass cups. Okay. Uh, Grendel will look over at the other three and kind of go, Well, that was enlightening. And a little scary. Whatever you just did, don't do it. I'm inclined to agree. Uh, are there is there like anything in the whirlpool that is remotely valuable looking? Um, as you look down into it, you do see a few a few gold coins at the bottom of the whirlpool. Uh huh. Would they be within reach? I uh, know they would be pretty deep. You'd have to fish them out. Okay. Um, so well if, then, what do you think about all this? Well, it was way outside of my league. Did my checks give me anything about specifics of this kind of thing? Um, it's her temple and. Maybe the, um, it's simple. Maybe the gold coins at the bottom are offerings. There. Probably offerings. And taking them, taking offerings from a god in their own temple is usually poor choice. Maybe we can make our own offering. Throw what you're saying is this goddess over here is just like any other lady. You gotta give her some shiny coins to keep her happy. He'll reach into his coin purse and flip a few gold into the whirlpool. Sure, why not? Grendel will do the same. Being cheap, uh, Faith is instead going to try to offer up a prayer. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Grendel kind of looks at Faith with a little bit of a long-suffering look, <laughs> but given that he's, you know, her bodyguard, and he's done this about a million times, he sighs and throws a little bit more cash in for her. Okay. Where to from here? Do Go for a swim. Do we feel different at all? Um, no. Okay. You look around for a couple minutes, wondering what to do now. As this creature emerges from the surf. Uh. Another one of these fuckers. Wait, he doesn't have. Oh no! Oh yeah. no! Okay. The Sawagan! They found us. He got some sweet bling. Yeah, looks like we surprised him too. He doesn't like it. <laughs> You've appeased the goddess. She's happy for your offerings. Oh, happy to oblige. Now, who are you? One of the guardians of this temple. Yeah, nice to make your acquaintance. My name's Thalen. This green grump over here is Grendel. And of course, uh, the fuse looking over there is something, something wrong. And of course, this lovely lady over here is Seth. He sketches a very formal bow. Best heel forward. Uh, thing will scratch its chest with a cocked head as you introduce your party. You've come for the gold? Yes. Probably. If, <laughs> if it's 
up for grabs. He smiles widely. So you're ready for the tests? Well, of course we are. Why wouldn't we be ready for a test that a god is going to pose to us? Then swim. And he'll point toward the water. Your gold awaits at the shipwreck, if you can take it. Well, all right then. Good luck. And he'll dive back into the foam. I am ready. Are you? All right, stay soon. Hold on one second then. And she's going to dig around in her bag and pull out this really stupid looking hat. It's got a big old, what appears to be shark fin. Basically just like stuck on with some, you know, lace and flowers to try to make it decorative. And she pops that on her head. Oh, lovely. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast Freedom of Movement on myself because I have a bow and would like to actually be able to do anything underwater. <laughs> oh, right. I'm going to go around. I'm going to touch my party with uh, Water Lung. Yes, Fallon! That's exactly what I'm wearing on my head. Well, it's... uh. Well, progressive style, I suppose. Never did get them high society folks. It looks uh... It's called fashion. Uh, so uh, distinctive. Grendel just kind of clears his throat and shakes his head at Alan and says, "Don't bother questioning her. There's no point." Just as a backup, because getting dispelled would be really, really bad. Uh, Thalen's gonna pull out a scroll of water breathing and give everyone in it uh, two and a half hours of water breathing on top of okay, the on. life we bubble. Air bu we have life bubble? I can do water lung, which is a hex. I don't know if you can dispel hexes. I think between the two of them, we should be alright. Yeah, it was just hers is like free water breathing that she can do whenever she wants, as many times as she wants. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Just some kind of redundancy. Yep. And because it's probably going to be really fucking cold underwater, uh, he's going to quaff a potion of endure elements. Oh, I have a wand for that, I think, don't I? Hold on. Nope, I lied. That's resist energy. Otherwise, Carry he's on. not looking forward to this. I'm gonna wade out into the water, and then once I think I'm deep enough, I am going to be shark. I how, how big is the how shark? How big are sharks? Hold on here. Uh, sharks are large. Perfect, that's what I thought. I would like to mount the shark. I think they're large long is what they are. Uh... It's fine, I'll just take you large. Yeah, I mean, I can probably at least help tow a couple people. It is underwater. Everyone's pretty light. Give me some rope. I'll hold on to it. Just drag people behind me. Choo-choo, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this is the water we're going out into, right? Right. Let me gather you guys up. Stop. Yeah. Coming. No, I want to go swimming. You can't stop me. You're not my mom. <laughs> You're not my mom. All right, so you guys wade out into the water, shiver a little bit, as Thalen is correct. It is quite cold. Uh, seems like you guys are further underneath than what you think. Um, but it's not cold and per se that it feels like it's going to affect you in any ways. It just gives you that shiver. 
you know, when you first get in, get in the water, you're like, oh, no. Uh, after a few minutes, you guys to get used to it. And strangely enough, you're not feeling the immense pressure from being thousands of leagues under the ocean. As you look up and realize just how deep you guys are. Uh, you swim around for a little bit, heading toward what you believe was the location of the shipwreck. If I can go ahead and get perception checks from everyone. Okay. Now I get the exploding dead, of course. <laughs> Uh, you guys would be heading in this direction, so go ahead and arrange yourself however you would be. Chances are the shark's leading. Um, it, was there opportunity enough to pull out some silken rope and whip up some kind of half-assed... Not a harness, but some kind of uh, tether to Sereth <laughs> to pull us along? Yeah, that, that would have been easy enough. Did you just add letters to names all over the place? Hmm? Bad, um, bad. In fact, I need five minutes, guys. I gotta go to the restroom, and I got a spanky cat that's in a box that he's not supposed to be. Hey, man, whatever you're into. <laughs> he he got into the cereal box. Fine, we don't need an explanation. Just do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll be back. There went the PG rating. <laughs> we never had a PG rating. Are you kidding? Very good reason. There's that little warning label on our stream. Are you an adult? <laughs> Because Big we need an adult. Black. Oh, yes. Ah. So, Tipsy, are we uh, really starting on the third already? Or was it the uh, tenth, I mean? Tenth, yes. I gotta learn my rules. And it sounds that. like uh, Buster is actually going to join us. I'm super excited. Sweet. He's actually quite good at Pathfinder, so... Right, cool. I was curious if we get a spaceship or not. Is there a player's guide yet for this AP? I don't think so. Uh, you running the actual AP then? Yeah. Oh, sorry, did I not specify that? Yes, hello, I'm running the AP. Oh. I missed that part. I might not have said it in Discord, so. <laughs> she okay. didn't say it to anybody except for probably me when she looked over and said, I'll probably run the AP. Actually, I think I said it to Dan. I don't even know if I said it to Alex. Me and Dan were talking about the, uh, the AP when I first dug it up. And yeah, if the if the first book of AP is out, the player guide is definitely out. They publish at the same time. I haven't seen a player's guide yet, though. Like, I didn't even see one on Paizo's site. Like, I'm wondering if it has one, or if they're scrapping that concept. Well, that's a possibility. Gotta stop associating Starfinder with Pathfinder. Expectations. Exactly. What do we got here? So we have someone just followed. It's followed. Wolfcat combo followed. Thank you for putting up with our bullshit. Welcome. Yeah, what he said. Hello, friend. Wolfcat is starting uh, Rune Lords pretty soon too. Rune Lords is fun. It is. It's pretty great. What? I wonder what our death count is up to at this point. Lots. Like probably at least a third of our uh, kill count. Let's go to the video. I know. Our player kill count is at twenty-five. You guys have died 25 times? I think half of those are Frankie. 
I don't know if that's considered dying, then. Um, uh, 25 characters have, in one way, shape, or form, or another, removed from the game. The actual kill count is 523. So, like, a 25th of our kill count. That's pretty good odds. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that kill count isn't higher than 500. I feel like we just kill everything that we encounter in that game. Whether we mean to or not. Hey man, something's run away from us. Oh, that's true. When the dragon got away for a few sessions of it. That's true, and then it came back and killed our friends. Yeah. I was so disappointed that it, that slaying arrow didn't work. It was really unfortunate. That would have been awesome. Oh well. I love Brad. The yeah, wolf is just saying, also subscribe to YouTube to watch the stuff he misses. The actual original reason I started doing that was because I'm really shitty at taking notes and I wanted a record of past games so I can look back and figure out what I missed. And I just kept doing it. It's pretty handy. And now there's about 260 hours worth of video. Because you have no life, Mark. God. Pretty much. Up anytime I want. Really, I can. No, you Ooh. fucking can't. No, Who are you even no, trying to fool? No, I can't. <laughs> I, thought I, I was happy to, to see. So with the shenanigans that went over the last couple of weeks, looking for uh, some new blood to bring into a new campaign. I was doing the whole Roll20 searching for goop thing. I was very happy to find out that I was actually able to find a completely new campaign group in less than three days. Are you cheating on us? What's you up? Bitch. <laughs> just, bring some, just bring some new new blood into the into the crew. I get you. seriously enjoy playing with our crew, but we get way too used to each other sometimes. Yeah, that's true. And no wolf-cat combo. Any of us have lives, really? No. No, we don't. Excuse you, I have a life. My we're, life revolves around my husband. We're, we're playing D&D &D on a Friday night. You're watching us play D&D &D on a Friday night. None of us have lives. I mean... What are we going to do? Go on a date? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> we already did that this week. Oh, where'd you go? I was really super craving fish of some variety. At first it was sushi, but then my mom said she was getting fish and chips. So I immediately jumped up and screamed that I needed fish and chips. So he took me to the restaurant in town. I got some fish and chips. Nice. Ironically, I know, what a sweetheart. Ironically, the original fish and chips of London is absolutely disgustingly horrible. Anywhere else is good. But they serve it with delicious mashed peas. Mashed what? That mashed peas. I think it's just not coming across my speakers very well. What? Mashed peas. Peas. Delicious. Welcome back. Welcome back. We missed you. Is everyone here? I am. Yep. I think Mike is stalking as usual. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Give him a few more minutes. We're just talking about the... Uh, Comparisons between different nationalities versions of fish and chips. I can do that. 
Maybe some with some fish and chips. Yeah, it's good shit, right? Now my fish and chips are usually a uh, fried fish of some sort. A thing of salty french fries. Or if this, the place has it, which is really rare down south and hard to find good, with sweet potato fries. Ooh, I do like sweet potato fries. Mike is back. They're just so I hard to find them correctly, though. Than ever. Welcome back, Mike. Mike is back. I like this song. Oh yes, protect. We, we're in the middle of drowning very, very slowly. Very slowly. Um, once again, with your eagle eye, Grendel, you see a shadow of a shape approaching from the northeast. And as it gets closer, you're able to make out said shape. And it is big. Um, How big is it? Am I able to warn people and do something about it? Or is it just kind of a thing where I'm like, oh, fuck, that's a, and then it's here? Yeah, you can say, hey, I see that. Hey, what's that over there, guys? It looks like a big, scary thing. It looks like a shark with some really, really bad skin issues. We have our own shark, though. Shark Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, shark on shark action. Hopefully she has better teeth. Nature, if anyone wants to try to identify this thing. Ooh, Damon that's me. has no idea. He he grew up on a sky island. He doesn't know about oceans. <laughs> I know everything. In reality, Salen's dead. Shh, he doesn't know it yet. This is one of his pre-adventures before he met James. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. This is like the James who can swear, like, you don't realize you're quite dead yet. His life flashed before his eyes, and it wasn't actually quite the life that he lived, it was a little bit of a hallucination. Yeah, it involved a whole <laughs> lot of bars and boudoirs. So if he's dead and he's just imagining this life, does that mean the rest of you are dead and imagining this life? Nah, we're just figments of his imagination. Oh, okay. Alternate reality, maybe? There you go. That's uh, it. Sayus, you know that this is a dire shark, otherwise known as a megalodon. Oh dear, I'm not that big of a shark. And I'm you get three small. questions. Um. Do you enjoy walks along the beach? Is it single? ASL? <laughs> um. If you were an ice cream cone, what flavor would you be? Shit. Um, That's um, a very bad flavor. Um, does, do they have any, like, um, of those special combat maneuver things, like the grabs, the... Uh, the, yes, the it does get a grab. And it has an ability called Swallow Hold. Okay, it's one of those. Um, can I... how close is it? Um, you're accurate right now. Okay, I'm asking more for wild empathy, actually. I would like to ask it to kindly fuck off. <laughs> kindly, then. Um, you are 120 feet from it. Okay. Um, uh, does it... Um, look angry, I guess, is the question. It looks hungry. Uh, and you guys look tasty. So probably unfriendly then, if not outright hostile. All right. Um, how many move actions, or how many, how many move actions? How many actions do we have um, at this moment? Just the one round before okay. we get put in the initiative. Got it. Uh, in that case, I'm going to take a move action to quickly go ahead and use my, uh, what is this thing called? My defend charge, and so I'm going to boost the shit out of uh, Saith's 
AC and concentration checks for the next four rounds. Um, and then I still have a standard for some cool shit. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, it's an animal, so I don't need to do that. Alex, by the way, I'll have you let you know that you helped me actually complete this. Because at first I was like, mm, it's going to be an underwater thing. What are they going to fight? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So I was like, <laughs> what do I take? Yeah. Um... I'm always, like, paranoid when it comes to rangers and shit like that, because I'm, I'm worried that I'll take something and it'll just be like, yeah, you never saw that, fucked hard. So, uh, that worked out pretty well. Chief, I guess one shot that we thought it was an undead campaign, but... Oh, no, you saw undead. It was fucking Mike that completely bypassed that entire fucking room. Whoops. Wow. What a piece of shit. Anyway, um... I'm gonna go ahead and... I guess I don't really need to do that. I'll just shoot it once. Okay. I mean, I'm very tempted to, like, cast another gravity bow, but I only have three of those, so... I mean, that thing's still probably active. That's minutes per. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, has it been... 13? 12 minutes? Probably with the swing and everything, you probably got like a minute or two left of it. Alright, that works for me then. Because you cast it on the boat. Yeah. yeah so enlarge would still be up to you? No. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, uh, he basically goes, A fuck are you, dolphin? And shoots it. Uh, do you bypass any, uh, gear? Uh, no. Oh, does it have DR, I ask? Because I only asked, like, one question. <laughs> the real question is, wow. is, whether it does or not, is there anything you can do to change it? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of DR does it have? Yeah, that uh, one. it has DR 10 magic. Oh, then yes, I get through that. Okay. Yeah, no, it is a magic bow. That's about it, though. Uh, you hit it, and you see a bit of blood come out from its scaly hide. Anyone else? Um. Helen is just gonna hold hold tightly to Saith's tether, and hope he can get close enough to actually do something against this thing. Yeah, I mean, I can move forward. Can I move okay. forward? Yeah! You have a full round worth. I am so completely not up wow. to date on my, uh... Come uh, with me, anyone who is attached! I'm so completely not up to date on my underwater combat. One of the I like uh, that I'm just issues towing. for melee. So basically, if you've got some sort of like swim speed or a way to anchor yourself or even just a decent swim check uh, you don't take a penalty uh, to anything piercing damage wise uh, but slashing and bludgeoning are going to do half damage uh, if you don't have any of that good stuff you're going to take I think it was like a negative two to your attacks okay got a rape here so share it there's all yeah. the piercing and thrusting in the world. Because remember, we went and bought Gazara a uh, scythe just for that issue. Hang on a second, I gotta adjust mine again. Alright, we're good. Does this qualify as standard combat, tense, or dire? Does it matter? Eh, music. Oh. I mean, that's up to you guys. You're you're facing a giant megalodon shark. I would say that's pretty else. dire. It is dire. Oh, it's dire, yeah. <laughs> Grendel. It's swimming at you guys. Avaka, you dolphin! What? Did I... 
It's from South Park, you cunts. <laughs> I just flat out asked him why he's stupid. <laughs> oh. Uh, so all of that is plus four, including the damage. I forgot about that. Uh, so give it another okay. plus four damage. Okay. In the first shot. My poor little sharky. Um, all of those hit and confirm. Hey! Why is that like that? I thought I adjusted that. What's so if you want to add up your shit for me, I would love it. It's a plus four on all your damages? Yes. Which I think it's multiplied to. I love the writer side. Then his family comes up from this side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the attack to be fair, he was bleeding. I wouldn't be surprised. The attack doesn't come from the front. It comes from the sides. Yeah, it's just gonna take a while to get here. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys. She made me so happy when you swam there. What? Oh, it's a geyser. <laughs> God damn it, woman. Why, though? <laughs> hey, hold on. Wee. Does this happen every immediately three rounds. now? No, oh, okay, so we're not. Every three rounds. Gotcha, but okay. you killed the shark. So now there's a giant corpse of the shark that's now attracting everything to it as you guys swim away. So, uh, so. Grendel would like to uh, look over at Alan and go, So, uh, <clears throat> that's your ass if you keep this shit up with my witch. I'm not your witch. You're hey. my bodyguard. Get it right. <laughs> that the woman will speak for herself. She ain't no property. She ain't, she ain't yours. Hold on. You can't say any of that. You're a giant shark. <laughs> okay. Nash, Nash. Sure, Nash, Nash. Well, I can, I can translate. I can speak to anything. See, there you go. <laughs> it's it's, it's yeah. nautical sign language. Fin I have speak. 13 ranks in linguistics. It's great. It's fin speak. Yeah, um, between all the ridiculous number of languages that Thalen actually knows, probably somewhere is awkward. <laughs> Do you speak shark, though? I th think I might. Then that's acceptable. I'll, I'll allow it. Now on to my giant fucking map, because this is like the only good underwater map I found. So you guys are just gonna have to suck it! I don't know, does Aquan count? I mean, they are not smart enough to talk, so I don't think they get along. You are. Yeah, right. but it's a matter of do you have the vocal cords for it. Read the expression in her eyes. There you go, now you're thinking. That's... That's great. I'm Pretty sure good. that'll yeah. go over really well if you <laughs> tell the bodyguard no, I can see in her eyes that she's telling me, deep down in her heart, she doesn't belong to you. <laughs> Motherfucker, I will shoot your ass. <laughs> no, I tell you the truth. I just want to let you guys know how proud I am of this map because I aligned it to the grid the first time. Damn. That's talent. Dude, props. I have never done that. Of course, which of course means we'll spend about 15 minutes on it. <laughs> Not even. We're just gonna turn directly south. <laughs> fuck this shit. I'm out. Nah, there ain't nothing in that shipwreck. Let's fuck off. Alright. We weren't after anything, like, really unique and specific, right? No, we're here exploring treasure. and looking for treasure. Okay. As you swim past the giant, 
gargantuan sized shark that's slowly drifting to the bottom of the ocean. You begin to wonder what is the purpose of life? Why are we here? Wine, women, and riches, of course. And then you hear the clink of the of the coin in your pocket and you remember. Lots and lots of gold. So one of you, I'm not sure which, starts to wonder like, once we get the gold, how are we getting home? Well, we got a big ass shark to ride home. That shit doesn't have a duration, <laughs> man. You're damn right. Get some fucking sea turtles up in here. Oh, lordy. So ahead of you, you do see the very wrecked ship of a very old ship. Uh, in the middle, there is a very deep hole. Uh, and you can't quite see the bottom of it as it gets really dark. I have 120 feet of dark vision. Tell me about this hole. It, it's a hole. It's very deep. At the very bottom, you can kind of sort of see what looks like a light. You suspect it might be an anglerfish. <laughs> oh, fuck that guy. No, he can, he can fuck off down there. I don't care. Give me a perception check, everyone. I got this, fam. A two. <laughs> Surely that will carry us to victory. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm the shark, and I'm carrying you all. So if we win, I have. Faith, you're you're swimming along, and you can catch the brief, the brief scent of blood. And for a moment, your sharkiness kind of wants you to veer off toward it. But then Grendel pops you in the back of your head, and you remember that just you're keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> You have an objective in mind. Uh, Grendel. Me. Um, as you guys approach, I'm gonna say you're about here-ish. Uh, as you're looking down into the deep dark hole that you asked about, you do see slight movement through some caves that are down there. Um, Thalen, since you're not too worried about the hole, you're looking at the ship and wondering what gold's in there. You do see what looks like movement inside the ship. I'll forego the crude joke about the hole, but yes. Well, hey, there's there's something moving over there. Um. One problem at a time, I think. Let's go for the boat first. Okay, move you guys as you as you go. Uh, well, I will hopefully nudge our glorious steed toward the boat. Um, that's the hole. Okay, the boat. <laughs> Which? So, what part are we seeing movement in? Which part of the boat? This part. Gotcha. Where okay. was the other movement? In the hole. In the hole. In the hole. Actually, we're pretty close to the hole and not that close to the boat. Maybe we should deal with that one first. That's what I'm thinking. All right. I thought it was the boat that was like right next to us, so that's my B. That's shards of a boat. Listen, there are lots of pieces of boat down here. All right. I'm gonna come to the <laughs> hole. I'm gonna ignore my bodyguard as he's pointing at the boat. I'm gonna be like, no hole. There's a light down there. It's good. Probably snack. Oh, a little bit of spelunking, huh? Um, Grendel, since you are keeping an eye out with your previous role, uh, one thing you do spot a movement as a mouth lashes out. A what? Mouth. Like how big of a mouth? Uh, a pretty big mouth as it heads for Thalen. Uh, well, considering we're all sitting on this thing, I'm going to use an attack of opportunity to give him a plus two AC. Kay. Enjoy. Wow. 
Wow. You failed me. What's your flat footed, Thalen? With your plus two? Okay, they dodge. Sorry. 36? Oh, right. <laughs> so you're like, what the shit? <laughs> As its body emerges from the cave that you swim by on your way down the hole. I don't know if it's an image saying that looking that it's trying to eat the fish or like if it like spits little fish out at you. <laughs> like projectile piranhas. Get them, my pretties. <laughs> Yeah, that definitely sounds right. <laughs> um, so this thing popped its head out, right, to try and chomp on us. Right. right. Which means it entered threatened squares. Can you act in a surprise round? Yes, I have combat right reflexes. Of course you do. So yes. I'm not even gonna bother cueing the combat music. <laughs> Hey man, I only get one shot. Relax. <laughs> Let's see that 20. Oh, I was looking at the uh, sensitivities. Still. Uh, is it... This is an animal too as well, right? Uh, yes. Or is it... Welcome to really nature check. Uh, I cannot, but I know someone who can and cannot communicate it to... Oh, wait, never mind. We have a monk. <laughs> Keep forgetting about that. Um, yeah. At some point where you have to wonder if the nature check is necessary when you're going to kill it in one round. But yeah, well, it's um, I mean, all my shit's plus four, so. It is a dire electric eel. A lot of dire. I love here. all the dire shit. Like this is prehistoric. Melodons, megalodons. What's the dinosaur name for a giant eel? Elodons. <laughs> wow, you really hurt That's this it. thing. <laughs> Do you know what? Fuck it. I only <laughs> did like 27 you, damage you know what? to it. Did, did that thing snap at Thalen? Yes. Fine. It did. Parry and reposed. Make it official. Right. Yeah, you parried it. Oh, I missed it. Oh, actually. you oh. missed. A negative one, I still roll 27. <laughs> Oh god. I need to read Some have anything special? Question. What's that? Something wrong. Oh, I don't think I can reach, so. Okay. Cool. I guess we'll go into one round of combat. Yes! Um. Because it ruled a 14, so. We all know who's gonna go first. Not I. I want to get one full round attack off. No! <laughs> you want to have haste? That'd be great. I'm going to start doing like low level one shots. You really should, honestly. Never. They're, they're so much easier to deal with. I just wanted to use animal skin in one game, okay? <laughs> Tipsy was the first one to ask, so Tipsy got, Tipsy got to select. And Tipsy wanted animal skin. All right, Grendel. You want to hit this thing? Listen, man. I have rolled the exact same initiative every fight now. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this is bizarre. And this is even with me buffing them, because I'm like... Nah, I let them do whatever the fuck they want, so I'm gonna do this over the CR. Should have brought out the fucking Kraken. CR 18. Um, oh, look at that! What are your attacks missed? <laughs> Dead. Is it really? Yes. Why does your fuck, fuck fourth that, attack dude. have two damages on it? Uh, that many shot? Oh, yeah, that's many shot. It's supposed to be on the first attack, but for some reason it won't readjust itself, and I don't know why. You have to relabel it. Probably. Congratulations. You've killed the giant eel that was trying to eat Balin. 
It just wanted a snack. You hear that, princess? Screech of the skills. As you guys swim back to the surface of the hole, uh, if I can get a perception check. Listen, I didn't intend to make something this broken. No, it's okay. That, I did. I, yeah, there's a reason I let you guys do whatever the fuck you want. That's the way Rangers, I put it. The way I put it, it's a one shot. It doesn't fucking matter. If you guys can do whatever you want and get it out of your system in a one shot, you're not gonna do it in a game. I'm just like, it's just Rangers. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. <you're> going <laughs> literally dumbed myself down by taking this archetype. Uh, so. Grendel is still worried about the eel and watching the caves and make sure there's no more. But as you surface from the hole, something wrong, perception, perception, uh, notices this creature before anyone else. As it looks its head from the boat. A creature. Oh, that's fun. Release the Kraken. Or the sea Kraken. Yeah, come on. What are you doing? Uh, Arcana. Arcana, you say? Arcana. I got this. You, you got I this. have one purpose, <laughs> and it is to rule knowledges. Uh, this is a sea serpent. And what? you get three questions. The shark says it's a sea serpent. Uh. Um... Shocking. Any... Hmm... Shark Damage is reduction? That's a bolt of sudden surprises? Sudden surprises? Any DR? Uh, DR... No. Any elemental resistances slash immunities that I should be aware of? Um, it's immune to cold. Resistant to fire. Um, it has the defensive ability elusive. And. What is that? I don't know. I'm going to Google it in a second. Uh, and... It can move up to its run speed without leaving any trace of its passing. Alright. And uh, what's the meanest attack it does that's going to make me cry? Um, well, it can either constrict you or swallow you whole. Don't get eight. Don't get eight. Yeah, I want to eat one of you guys so bad. Uh, ironically, I would probably have an easier time attacking you from the inside. Yeah, yeah. look at that initiative roll of mine. Okay, maybe it'll try and eat me because I'm being a dick to Rogers monsters. For the record, I'm sorry. No, no it's... you're just you're a ranger. What they do? I mean, yeah, but like that wasn't the goal at all. I wasn't planning <laughs> on being a ranger in the first place. It was just Allie goes, "Hey, man, we can finally do that thing with the witch and the witch guard, and it'll be so cool." And I was like, "Yeah, sure. Why the fuck not?" Little did I know. Two dead monsters in one round. <laughs> yeah, something just needs to grapple you. Then you're done. I have freedom of movement on. Wow. I rolled like shit for his initiative. Oh, you're uh, rolling? Sorry. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow. Oh, it changed. Yeah. That means your um, second and third attacks will actually hit. It's a magical beast, right? Yes. Okay. okay. I don't get okay. shit against him, but I do still get my initiative bonus because this is still water. Yeah. Thalen. Uh, Thalen will delay until after Saith. As he kicks his heels into her side gently. <laughs> Nudging. You're gonna get bit. <laughs> Alright. 
Sansa. I'm gonna move forward. Sixty feet. So towing okay. along people behind me. Okay. Okay. And then okay. because I am a shark, I evil eye it. It is not gonna get him. Okay. God damn it. Okay. You evil eye it? I evil eye it. Roll that save. Let's find out how many ruins this is on for. Oh, and I'm attacking its um, AC. Shit, I should probably look up what my DCs are. Hold on. This is a will save? Yeah, it's always a will save. It's a DC tw Wait, what? Half my level. Hold on. I'm really bad at math. Sick. Bear with me. Sick. Six is half your level plus your in mod. Okay, it's a 25 DC. It makes it. Damn it. One round. Just one okay. round. Um, negative four AC? Negative four AC. Is it to the end of your next turn or the beginning? Unfortunately, the beginning. Oh, that blows. Uh, Thalen will uh, come in after save, and he will uh, okay. push off of her side, swimming the the rest of the way to approach the creature from the side here. I'll probably take an AO. Yeah, I think you technically just share all of her spaces while we're strapped to her, so you should just be able to theoretically five foot forward. Although I don't know if that works in the water. Uh, I think it's, it's all difficult as far as. Uh, it can't. Yeah, you're fine. Or to the point, I don't want to be in front of the thing in a mm -hmm. convenient cone shape. That's fair. Um, I'm gonna say that that probably took all of my movement, move in standard, because me moving in water sucks. Okay. So I'm just gonna get myself over here and be done. Grendel! Uh, I'm gonna shoot it. You're gonna shoot it. Yeah, right? What a shock. Who would have thought? That's so very out of character for Grant. Okay, so the second and the fourth attack and the rapid shot hit, but does not confirm. Okay. Um, hold on. Wait. Does... With the feet tax fixes, point blank shot is rolled into precise, right? So you still get the plus one within 30? Right. Okay. Okay, so that's a 30 to hit for the first one. And they all hit, but does not confirm. That's fine. Not bad. Not bad indeed. <laughs> Look at that. My monster gets to go. <laughs> That's first. Um, the shark looks kind of tasty. That's no, I'm not it. tasty. It didn't even do anything, though. I just shot the That's... fuck out of him. It, yeah, but see, the thing is, you're kind of far away. Oh no, see, you're not really not that it. far. Yeah, no, I technically her. share, like, I'm basically in any of her spaces at the moment. Oh, because you're riding her, that's right, right? Yes. I'm just, uh, she's in the front, so I can't really put my token on top of hers, because then I can't yeah. fucking see my own token. There you go. Thank you! There you go. Everyone, thank oh, the witch really now. Me. She's been good to all of us. Alright. It's gonna bite Grendel because it just shot the shit out of him. I'm okay with this. He shot the sheriff. What's your AC? Uh, 29, I believe. So the first one will hit. Okay.
for 33 damage. Uh, what is your CMD? No. No? I have freedom oh, of you movement. are free to move movement. Yes. So it tries to hold on to you with its gnashing teeth, but you always just seem to pass right through it. Um, and its tail misses you. Yay. Some! Alright, question. Can I flying kick underwater? I mean, there's nothing saying you yes, can. Yes, but only if you make motorboat sounds. <laughs> <laughs> With your <laughs> motorboat. All right, I'm going to do it if I can. All right, go ahead. Motorboat sound. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a mug. That's, yeah. <laughs> Everything except for the first attack hit. I shouldn't be getting plus 40. I don't know why I was. I should be getting plus 20. Oh! Yeah, okay. Why are you getting plus 40 to attack? On Good all of your attacks. Good lord. Well, oh, the minus last one. two are not, but it's minus 20 to all of those. Well, right, except so for the first one. I wonder why that is. That's your magic weird. number is 30. Which Grendel found out in his. Alright, so the second one is 22. Third one is uh, 39. 39. Nine. And confirmed. And 29 does not confirm. Oh, you're right, 29. I'm sorry. We got 25, 25, so 30. Six hits. So the 59 and the 50 hit. Well, hold on. Is your thing considered a charge or no? Um. It's no, I don't. I just move my movement speed. Okay. But I think I fixed it with the attack mod for the next one. Okay. So, thank you, Dalen. It is not happy. Faith. Well, I'm not happy either, and I inform it so. Are you counting the negative four AC? By evil eyeing. Oh, I was not. Oh. So that does confirm. Oh, good. Ninety-four one. Okay. All right. Okay. I evil eye it again, followed by cackling. So it will last for two rounds. You know, okay. it can save two if it wants. Otherwise, it lasts for like nine bajillion or something. Yeah, it, it does not save. Excellent. So it lasts for twelve rounds. Okay. I cackle anyways, so you know, thirteen. Okay. Lucky number, which is love that number. A mental picture of a shark cackling. And yeah, versus AC again. Keep my cool. keep my gentleman, you know, punching and shooting and what is it your character does, Mark? A little bit of everything really. Uh was there anything else? No, that's it. Okay. Phelan? Okay. All right, the first attack is going to have a plus four to attack on it. Okay. So, it set a negative four AC, so you're trying to hit a 26. So all this hit. Double check, because I had some good things involved that nothing has lived long enough to actually matter. Um, oh no, that's right. I actually took them out because it was too powerful. We weren't worried about that in this game. <laughs> I didn't want to give it con damage every time I crit something. 
That's badass. <laughs> oh, you're gonna do the fucking bleeding attack every time. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm inspired uh, blade though. I don't get that. So I'm not even gonna ask you to add that up. I don't wanna add that up. Go ahead. That doesn't matter. As Thalen thrusts his rapier into this creature's side, it bursts into a shining light, and in its place sits several chests of gold. Hey, we did it! <laughs> Was that the test? That, that was the test. You killed all the creatures. Sweet. I was expecting a puzzle, but that works way better. <laughs> well, the, the first room was kind of sort of a puzzle. The what was? The first room. Yeah, that's uh, true. That's true. We almost got our asses beat by a pair of coral fuckers. If you had refused to um, pay tribute to the god, the coral fuckers were going to come back. As well as some of the Shaheen. What's the official name? Yeah, the coral golems. The coral golems. How do you think they reproduce? Coral <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> that sounds really, really rough. Yeah. And then the with the shark, you were supposed to draw it into the flames. Into the have it sit in the geyser. And but no, you guys just were murder hobo. Um, this is no fun for strike. problems. Like door strike. Uh, <laughs> as you swim forward, excited at your riches, and able to count it all, um, as each of you place a hand on some sort of it, you, the treasure, and anything else in your pockets, disappear from here and reappear onto the island. As you look around. Everything has changed. First off, the dragon is dead. You can see its rotted corpse. Uh, now mostly bone, half in the water. There are several hundred wrecked ships. And off in the distance you can hear the distant boom of the ghost ship firing its cannon. How much time had passed? You're not entirely certain. Uh, is it nighttime or daytime? Nighttime. Perfect. We can figure it out, actually. Tell me about the stars, Ryder. I have enough <laughs> to ride to figure this shit out. Hold on. I'll roll it for you. While you're doing that, Thalen immediately uh, rotates the ring on his pinky finger and desperately looks around. Did the, any of the taverns, pubs, or watering holes in 20 miles survive? <laughs> Um, there's nothing within 20 miles. He drops to his knees and does like the apocalypse now. No! I finally had the time! Um, uh, get that survival and looking up the stars and doing some quick math in your head. Uh, you guess two or three years? Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, so Grendel looks over at the others and goes. Don't freak out, it's not that bad. We're, we're in the middle of the ocean, we have no way to get anywhere we want, but it's only been two or three years, so we'll be fine. Everything's still around, everybody you knew and loved is probably still alive. Hmm. Uh, Thalen scratches the blonde tuft of beard under his chin. So what you're saying is, them 18 year old schoolgirls are now 21? As <laughs> Thalen thinks this, the vision wow. around him fades, and he comes to as his left last breath leaves him to war around him. Man. <laughs> okay, the rest of us get to go and spend all this money. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have taken that vow of poverty. Damn it. Sweet, we only have to split it two ways. I think I win. <laughs> <laughs> the witch is like, all I did was show up, turn into some animals and evil glare and shit. To be fair, I did exactly what I wanted to do tonight. I wanted to use animals again. <laughs> you used it a lot, so I mean, that worked. I've well proven that witch, way better than druid in every way. 
Oh, man. The best part of the whole thing was that I actually considered using uh, Wild Empathy once, and then I was like, wait, no, I'm not a fucking druid, who cares? <laughs> Have you guys had a chance to um, look through that elemental book yet, the PDF? Yeah. Uh, Oracle Mystery? Yes, I think so. Uh, oh it's my been a God. little while. Which, what is it again? Um, the, is it the drowned fucking curse and then the whatever, like, water mystery or something? I forget what it is. It's been a while since I looked at it. Let me just tag in here really quick. Thank you very much for everyone who's joined us tonight. Uh, Wolf Cat Combo especially for the follow and the subscription. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're better than everybody else now. Hey! Absolutely. What a boss. Uh, as a side note, uh, we actually do have our uh, our own little emoji there, thanks to Miss Tipsy over here. Hey! Give me money, I'll do the same for you too. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf so... Cat Combo replies, I did, you were all great, I'm definitely chiming again. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you! And on that note, have a good evening. Take it easy, folks. Good night. Bye-bye.